the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 247, Ezekiel 15-17 The promise of the Old and New Covenant The people of South Judah should have followed God, but they did not show any intention to turn away from evil or to repent. First point, through the metaphor of a grape tree which cannot produce fruit, God told Ezekiel of his judgment for South Judah. God had planted a grape tree called South Judah, but the fruit became useless with no edible grapes. God used the metaphor of a grape tree to Isaiah beforehand also. The reason grape trees are valuable is due to the fruits they produce. This was the same for God's people. The reason God's people were considered valuable was due to their patience, meekness, endurance, and love. A grape tree with no grapes is no longer considered valuable. God used this metaphor to explain the state of the people of South Judah. A tree with no fruit no longer has any use. It can only be used as a fireplace log. The people of South Judah who did not keep their mission in a kingdom of priests were told by God that their fate would be like the grape tree with no grapes. Second point, God told Ezekiel that although God looked after them as if they were orphans, they still criticized God. God declared that he raised the South Judah who had been like orphans. Since the day of Exodus, God had taken the Israelites into his hands and nurtured them. God nurtured them so well that they had become fruitful and multiplied abundantly. God had envisioned them becoming his holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. God continued to use the metaphor of a marriage to explain the sins of South Judah. South Judah had become like a queen due to God's nurturing, and they were treated as a queen by their surrounding countries. But the people forgot about this and went ahead with their idol worship and adultery. The people went as far as to offer sacrifices to their idols. They also expanded their idol range to foreign gods, served by Egypt, Philistine, Assyria, Tyre, and so on. Therefore, God declared that they would be invaded by foreign countries. They would also be raided and their towns burned down. God told them that they were now the same as the foreign countries. God added that their sins were greater than those of Sodom and Gomorrah in the past. As such, God outlined the exact sins of the people through metaphors, but then he added that even they would be restored through God's salvation. Third point, God remembered the promise he made with South Judah and declared that he would restore them and give them a new covenant. The sins of South Judah were so despicable that it was difficult even to list them. Despite this, God still remembered that they were the descendants of Abraham and so promised them a new covenant. This new covenant had its foundation in the old covenant. The old covenant was built through God's grace and was therefore called the grace covenant. This was the covenant God gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God also made a covenant with David. The next covenant was the one made between God and the people of Israel called the bilateral covenant, and this was based on conditions. This covenant was made on Mount Sinai, and the main content was for the people to agree in becoming holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. 
God ordained that if the people broke their side of the covenant, they would be punished in three different stages according to the law. God explained that after receiving punishment, if they accepted this and repented, he would renew his covenant. The covenant became completely fulfilled later through Jesus Christ. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. Fourth point, God spoke to the people of South Judah through allegories and metaphors. Now, God spoke to Ezekiel through the metaphor of two eagles and a grape tree. The reason God used allegories and metaphors were firstly to explain that Babylon, which was like a huge eagle, would take Jehoiachin and the people of South Judah as captive. The second was to explain that Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon would take King Zedekiah from South Judah and rule over him. The third was that South Judah would want to make an alliance with another eagle, Egypt, to rely on them. The fourth was that relying on Egypt would only make things worse for South Judah. All these allegories and metaphors were recorded by Ezekiel. Zedekiah had made an alliance with Egypt in order to fight against Babylon, but of course, this did not work out. Therefore, Zedekiah had to be taken to Babylon. The reason God used allegories and metaphors of two eagles and a grape tree was in order to symbolize South Judah struggling between Babylon and Egypt. What they failed to see was that God was testing them through Babylon. South Judah was not to choose Babylon or Egypt. They were to choose God only. But they only relied on the empires, which seemed more powerful to them. They also had no inclination to repent. This is exactly what God was pointing out. Fifth point, God gave Ezekiel the metaphor of a cedar to reveal how South Judah would eventually be saved by the Messiah. This time, God used the metaphor of a cedar to Ezekiel. This message contained the words of the coming of the Messiah and the salvation that was to follow. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.